Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the raised ripple stitch, which is the stitch that you see here. It happens to be one of my favorite stitches. I use it in a lot of my blanket patterns. Um, if you follow me, you will know that for sure. That's the, what the back of it looks like. Uh, so this is the raised ripple stitch. It's comprised of uh, double crochet stitches and triple front post triple crochet stitches okay so it's a fairly fun stitch to work it works up very quickly and it has lots of great great texture so grab your hook and some yarn and uh, crochet along with me if you'd like as we learn how to crochet the raised ripple stitch if you are joining me for the first time, welcome, and uh, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which the button can be found in the lower right-hand corner. I like to update my YouTube channel weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, such as the one that you're going to see here. So the first thing that I've done is I have made my slip knot, and I'm all ready to go. I'm going to start uh, to work this stitch by chaining an odd number of stitches and then I would add two more for my starting chain. So today I'm going to start by chaining a total of 13. There's 12 and 13. So once you have the total number of stitches that you require on your hook, you're going to start by yarning over and placing one double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So count in one, two, three, four, yarn over and you're going to place your first double crochet in that fourth chain. You are then going to double crochet in each chain all the way across. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row two, you're going to um, single crochet in every stitch all the way to the end of the row. So I always like to work my first single crochet in that first stitch. So single crochet, that means my chain one will not count as a stitch. So single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final uh, chain three there, your starting chain three from the previous row, you're going to work in the top of that stitch. Your chain three at the beginning of each row always counts as a stitch. So don't, uh, don't forget about it, don't leave it out. So make your last single crochet in the top of that turning chain. Next, uh, at the end of row two, you're going to chain three, which remember counts as a stitch, and then turn your work. Now because that chain three counts as a stitch, you're going to skip this first stitch, and you're going to skip the next single crochet, but instead you're going to work a front post triple stitch around the double crochet beneath it, okay? So to make your triple, front post triple, you're going to yarn over twice. And the next, under the next single crochet stitch, working around the post of that double crochet two rows below, you're going to insert your hook around the post, working from right through to the left, and then you're going to complete the triple stitch as you normally would. So yarn over and pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops, three times. Just like that. And that's your front post triple crochet. So it's a triple crochet worked around the post of the double crochet two rows below. You're then going to double crochet in the next single crochet. So there'll be a single crochet that you haven't worked in 
in between each of these two double crochet stitches. So in the next single crochet stitch, work your double crochet stitch. Now we're going to work another front post triple yarn over twice with one double crochet in between. So you're going to skip that double crochet and you're going to work in the double crochet below the next stitch. Work around the post, insert your hook from right to left, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops three times. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. You can see this texture already starting to come through. So double crochet in the next single crochet and then a front post triple crochet around the next double crochet two rows below. There will always be one single crochet stitch up top that remains unworked and there will always be one double crochet stitch down below unworked. Double crochet and then a front post triple crochet. So continue to do that all the way across. In this row you will end with a double crochet stitch in your final stitch. And my double crochet in my final single. That's the end of row three. Then you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, and you're going to repeat row two, which was your single crochet row, because we want to get back to the beginning so that our raised stitches are always on the, on the same side. So chain one, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of that row, remember to work in the top of your chain three We'll keep your edges nice and straight. And now we're going to move on to row five. For row five, you're going to start by chaining three and turning your work. And now for this row, we're going to work another row of those raised triple stitches. Now instead of starting with a raised uh, front post triple stitch, you're going to double crochet in the next stitch because we kind of want to stagger these stitches. So double crochet in the next stitch, then front post triple in the double crochet two rows below. Double crochet in the next stitch, front post triple, two rows below. Continue to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet stitch, you're going to work one double crochet in that final stitch. And that brings you to the end of row five. For row six, you're going to chain one and turn and work your single crochet stitches all the way across. And now simply for the rest of this pattern, for as long as you would like your work to be, you're going to simply repeat that single crochet row, step uh, rows two through to five over and over again. So complete um, your single crochet row, then you're going to go back with your chain three and you're going to start with your tr uh, front post triple stitch followed by your double crochet stitch. Repeat those for as long as you would like and that is your raised, um, your raised ripple stitch. Thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and until next time, happy crocheting. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,